Greetings, critical viewers. We're back with The Wolf Among Us. This is episode four, In Sheep's Clothing. I've been waiting for this to come out for about a month and a half now, because that's about how long it takes for a new episode to come out. And uh, in case you forgot what happened in the last episode, we met Bloody Mary, and she represents the Crooked Man, and they took freaking Ichabod Crane away. And also, Bigby turned into a wolf and got shot by the Tweedles. I didn't kill either of them. So, there you go. I don't know how that's going to affect things going forward. Anyway, let's start the episode. I'm anxious to see what happens. Apparently, there's a confrontation between Bluebeard and Bigby coming up that we can look forward to. Alright. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? It was a good show, but, you know... Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Ugh. I hate Bloody Mary so much. Also, I'm, don't, I'm not sure why I filled you guys in. I knew that there was going to be a last time on segment there. Anyway. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, no! Why are you making me do this? Oh, God! Ah, uh, close enough, right? Damn it! I don't like this. Okay. God, this is like Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 1, all over again. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse
excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. Sorry, Colin. I like you, but... <sighs> There. Simmer down. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Well, thanks, Doc. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Nah. I can still hear you. Anyways? Guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Hey! What's your beef with Colin? I mean, there's sort of a meat joke there. I don't know what it is, though. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, no. Don't so, start. How do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died. I guess. I didn't die. Did, what? Did I? It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. All right, I've Snow. Never Slow your roll. Like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him. He's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know. Yeah. It was just awful. Um, pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And nope. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Yeah, when he, I agree. He traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. That's so true. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Uh. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Thanks, yeah. Snow. Uh, thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Okay. What else could Snow do? 
she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane uh... can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? I'm gonna be menacing. How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? Let's leave right now. Let's go kill him. <laughs> declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Okay, I didn't what mean to say it like that. Right way. We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Pure what? As driven snow. You're the one who I'm wanted to burn that girl's tree. Sure you're not. Or this old lady, town whatever. Has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into. It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose oh, his foot and mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all yeah. move on. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk okay. all day. Only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? Oh god. To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Right, Look, well, I didn't be, think he'd be so... I care so... about how this is done just as much as I okay. care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me Holy like that? Shit. It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. That's they true. know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. You're I'm talking not. about sending Tell Colin me right to the now. farm. What's it gonna be, Bigby? What do you mean, what's it gonna be? We're not gonna send what's you off reference? right now. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Bluebeard. Narissa. Ugh. Narissa? Oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? I don't know. Uh, do you sound Bigby's jealous right now? Admirer. You always do well with the... Uh... Disenfranchised. Well, that's something supposed about to me. your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She I'm knows something. Go with the obvious she answer. Help me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. 
I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Yeah, Consider probably. the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can hey. still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Plus, you look Thanks. really pitiful as a pig. You chose friendship over the rules! God damn it! Ah. Oh my god. That was kind of an intense discussion in there. Ugh. I didn't like it. I didn't like having to choose a side. Right there. Anyway. Hi, Ariel. I know your name's Narissa, but I want to call you Ariel. Uh. So for the record, I don't know if I've said this before. I don't like holy trust Snow White. I uh, I don't know. There's something something funny with her. I don't know. I don't fully trust her. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get a glass of water. So hang on. Ah, just in time. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um... Are you okay? I can't remember. Did she see you everything? Didn't look good last night. Oh, maybe she I did. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Yeah. If bleh. I could buy. Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Except you did, but okay. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. What, what what brand is that? Sh Shorette? The, sounds kind of like a namby pamby little brand. Thanks. Uh. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me. Who are those hundreds? Arms. I think you want to help shame. me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. What does that Back mean? Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go hmm. ahead. It... Okay. Might work. The crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. Damn it. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. Faith in Lily, huh? It sorry, I can't get over the hundreds. Sense. Like, are you a 90-year-old lady or what? I'm not sure how I can... 
って。Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. My friends are, are Snow and Colin, and that's Look that's about you. it. Ugh. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Wait. I need you to know. I want to help, but. But. Your lips are sealed. Okay, take your time. It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Damn it. Faith wore one too, huh? Yeah, I noticed that as well. Do you like it? Hmm? Do it's you? Not... It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. It's around the throat. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Probably can't take it off either, right? Don't make me make a choice. Because it might kill her if I take it off. Don't, Big B. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. All right, I I get it. Something really bad will happen to you if I do that. Okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Uh, I don't know what to do. Fuck. Sorry, I. I wish I could do something. I guess I should have comforted her. I didn't. Eh. If anyone finds out I came here, hide. It's probably snow. Listen, Maybe make sure first. Jack, can you keep this conversation between us? Yes. I could be in a lot of trouble. What are you worried about? Just, please, don't say anything. Uh, you guys look guilty. <laughs> Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Uh, did you get anything from her? Magic! She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. I don't know. I don't really want to tell her about the magic because it so seems like she gets Beauty in a East. tiff Do you think when she's desperate. Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Because like she wanted or to burn that tree, you know. Night? And they're scared about what's been going on. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Like, I don't want to talk about the magic. Ah, fuck. You I'll explain myself in the next scene. Back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? 
I have other matters to attend to.